I pull into your driveway, it's a Saturday night. You look like a million bucks wearing that dress I like. You're smiling, but there's something missing in your eyes. Girl, I can tell that you have something on your mind. Hey everybody, it's Mickey, and in today's video, I have the best crock pot recipes for you. Some of these are dump and go, some have an extra step or two, but all of them are delicious. So if you are new here and you like DIY, decor, organizing, cooking, and planning videos, I hope you'll take a minute to subscribe. I put out new videos every week about all things home. The first recipe that we are going to make today is truly a dump and go recipe. I found this one online at crockpotsandflipflops.com. They have a bunch of really great crock pot recipes on their site. They're all quick and easy to put together. What you'll need for this recipe is a block of cream cheese, a can of cream of chicken soup, and a packet of Good Seasons Italian dressing mix. You'll also need about two pounds of boneless chicken breast. I've seasoned mine really well with my regular salt and pepper, paprika, Mrs. Dash, and garlic powder. Place your chicken in the bottom of your crock pot and mix together in a small bowl the soup and Italian seasoning packet and lay it over your chicken. Now break up your block of cream cheese, add to the top and cover it. Cook on low for four hours or high for two and a half hours. I'll be sure to put all the recipes for this video in the description box down below. Towards the end of the cooking time, boil your pasta. I chose rotini, but you can choose pretty much any type of pasta you want. Cook until al dente and mix into your crock pot and it's ready to serve. Once it is all mixed, I like to let it sit for about 10 minutes or so. It allows the pasta to absorb the sauce and it gives me a little time to re-season if I need to and break up the larger pieces of chicken. We like to eat this with a side vegetable. Today I made some frozen peas and I served it along with some garlic bread. The next recipe that we are going to be making today is for slow cooker pork chops. And I found this recipe in the Good Country Cooking Magazine. I think I just came across this at the grocery store. And sometimes you can find the best recipes in these little magazines that are you know, just at the checkout there. And this one has a ton of really yummy recipes. I mean, almost every single one of them I wanna try. But this one is for pork chops. Now the recipe calls for um, bone-in chops, but I'm going to use a little bit of a thicker center cut pork chop. I like to use those in the crock pot because they don't seem to fall apart as easily. So this is the one that we're going to start on now and I'll leave this recipe for you in the information box down below. So for this recipe, you are going to need your pork chops and a really large onion sliced, a fourth a cup of butter, a cup of chicken broth, a little bit of olive oil, and a packet of ranch dressing mix. First, you're going to saute your onions in a little bit of olive oil and butter in a large saute pan. Once they have softened and gotten a little brown, lay them in the bottom of your crock pot. Sprinkle about half of the ranch dressing packet over your pork chops. I also added a little bit of Mrs. Dash and garlic powder. Add about two tablespoons more oil to your pan and brown the pork chops on both sides. Lay the browned pork chops over the onions in your crock pot. Mix together the remaining ranch dressing mix and the chicken broth and pour over the top. I dotted the pork chops with a little bit of butter, covered it, and then cooked it on high for two and a half hours. This recipe really smells so good while it's cooking and it tastes just so delicious. I served this with some red skin mashed potatoes and a side of broccoli. This is a recipe that you can easily serve for company, you know, once we have company again. And this would also be a great Sunday meal. Thank you. 
This is one of my favorite crock pot recipes of all time. To me, this is everything I like about a crock pot meal. The chicken is nice and tender, the sauce is really creamy, and it has vegetables. Now, I found this recipe a while ago on the internet somewhere. I'm not really sure where I found it, but I will leave the full recipe for you down below. So for this recipe, you are going to need about two pounds of chicken, two summer squash, two zucchinis, chopped onions, crushed Ritz crackers, garlic powder, Mrs. Stash, and paprika, two cans of cream of chicken soup, a whole container of sour cream, and shredded cheddar cheese. For this recipe, I'm going to use one of those Reynolds crock pot liners. I don't usually use them very often, but for recipes like these that can be a little bit messy, I find that they really help a lot with cleanup. Start by putting your chicken in the crock pot. Now, I always season my meat really, really well before I put it in the crock pot. I think that whenever you can add a layer of flavor, you should. It always gives you a better result in the end. In a large bowl, mix together your two cans of cream of chicken soup and 16 ounce container of sour cream. Mix this together really well. Then you're gonna add your chopped onions and your sliced zucchini and summer squash. Mix this all up the best you can. It's going to be really chunky. Once this is all mixed, you can add some seasonings to it. I put garlic powder, Mrs. Dash, paprika, and a couple shakes of hot sauce. Mix it all together and spread it on top of the chicken in your crock pot. Then add your shredded cheddar cheese and cover the whole top with the crushed Ritz crackers. Cover with the lid and cook on high for about four hours or low for eight hours. This recipe is truly one of my favorites. I like to shred up some of the bigger pieces of chicken and serve this over rice, but you can also serve it over egg noodles or mashed potatoes. Now this does make a lot, so you can easily feed a crowd and you will also have some really great leftovers. So have you guys ever made a cake in your crock pot? I didn't even know that you can do such a thing until very recently. And you cannot believe how great these cakes come out. So I have just found a great cookbook by the crock pot ladies. It's called The Big Book of Slow Cooker Dinners. And in it, it has just the most awesome and unique recipes, but it also has a whole section on desserts that you can make in your crock pot. The recipe that we are going to be making today is called Hot Fudge Peanut Butter Swirl Cake. And trust me when I tell you that this cake is really incredible. You make a chocolate peanut butter sauce to go over it when you serve it and it is just mind numbingly good. So what you're going to need for this recipe is just a classic yellow cake mix. Duncan Hines is my favorite. You're also going to need some Hershey's Hot Fudge three eggs, a quarter cup of butter, a cup of water, and of course some peanut butter. This recipe also calls for you to spray the inside of your crock pot with some Pam. In a large bowl, mix together the cake mix, water, eggs along with the peanut butter and the butter. Mix it all up really well with a hand mixer. Spray the inside of your crock pot with non-stick spray and spread half of the batter in the bottom of your crock pot. Warm a half a cup of hot fudge until it is pourable and pour over the layer of batter. Now with a butter knife, swirl the hot fudge to combine it just slightly and then add the rest of the cake batter on top. Cover and cook on high for two to three hours until a toothpick inserted in the middle comes out clean. While the cake is cooling, we're going to work on the glaze. For that, you're going to need a cup of powdered sugar, a third of a cup of peanut butter, a fourth of a cup of milk, and a third of a cup of hot fudge. Thank you. 
Once the cake has started to cool, you can serve it up. We put it in a bowl with some vanilla ice cream and swirl the chocolate glaze on top. If you are like me and chocolate and peanut butter is your all-time favorite combo, you will really love this cake. So thank you all so much for watching today. If you like seeing videos like this, please leave me a comment on down below. Cooking videos are my favorite ones to make. I really like watching them too. I think they are soothing and I love getting new recipe ideas. Please join our community over on Facebook and Instagram at My Bachelor Life and don't forget to subscribe. I've heard from so many of you again that YouTube has unsubscribed you from my channel. So please be sure to check your subscription and hit that notification bell so you are the first to know when I put up a new video. So until I see you in the next video, I hope that you love the life that you have. Be kind to each other, stay safe, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!